OK, I'd like to introduce you to Chirpy, which is the tiny 10 meter CW transceiver using just two transistors and 14 parts. As you can see from the uh, small 9 volt battery just sitting next to it at the moment, it's very small, it's only literally uh, about uh, 2 inches square and in a small diecast box. Results with Chirpy so far have been very encouraging. A couple of local UK stations in the next village, in the same village, and also one DX contact so far, IT9QAU stroke QRP, who is 1,414 kilometres away in southern Europe. Every hope this will cross the Atlantic soon. It's certainly possible with this power and just need to clear frequency. So this is looking inside Chirpy. It's all built on a single piece of copper laminate. All 14 components sitting on the, uh, the piece in the middle of the box here. Crystal oscillator and a single one transistor amplifier on the end here. The audio output normally feeds into a crystal earpiece, high impedance, which gives the receiver quite respectable sensitivity. About minus 100 dBm is copyable. Uh, when the band is busy, um, signals are often quite a lot stronger than that. Uh, here I'm feeding Chirpy's audio output into the PC and listening to the audio signal on a VLF receiver on my PC. The transmitter of Chirpy puts out about 100 to 120 milliwatts depending on the battery supply. Um, just a quick demonstration of the signal um, so you can hear uh, what it sounds like on a 28.060 ohm egg receiver. I've got the FT817 tuned to 28.060. As you can see it's rather chirpy, a bit like an old Russian signal with a keyed VFO of 20 or 30 years ago. But for something this simple, you can't have it uh, perf perfect. So there we have it, a very simple 28 megahertz CW transceiver, 14 parts, 100 milliwatts or so on transmit, about 2 microvolt sensitivity on receive, and extremely simple to build and operate. Uh, the keying is full QSK, in other words, when the key goes down, the receiver goes off, um, so you can listen between dots. Um, and it really is something quite fun.